So welcome to part two of NCF 2023. And I welcome Komlawali Ma'am to All India Educators Forum to share her insights on NCF 2023. And we can't wait to listen to your insights and your experiences and what you have to share about NCF 2023. Over to you, Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am. Screen share, ma'am. Please yes. enable screen share. Enable. enable. Namaste to one and all. Today's our topic is how we reach the learning standards. Yes, La learning standards for the foundational stage of the NCF envisioned by NEP 2020. So what about the learning standards? Aims of education, curricular goals, competencies, learning outcomes, together referred to as learning standards. So we always hear about learning standards and the learning standards, it is a combination of aims of education, curricular goals, competencies, and learning outcomes. Together we call, or we refer it as learning standards. So let us see what is meant by aim of education articulated in education policy documents. For example, education aims to develop a good human being. How to become a good human being? There is rational thought and action. It's rationally, rational thinking, reason, uh, reasonable thinking. Uh, anyway, a child should have, a, a human being should have rational thought and action, not thought only, in practical also. If they should have a rational thinking, logical thinking, then compassion and empathy, which is asset uh, of a human being, then courage and resilience, that is uh, uh, courage at the same time, if it's face a challenge, we have to withstand it, we have to overcome it. Then scientific temper, yes, that is not the last, it is also very important, scientific temper, then creative imagination. Creativity is important. Imagination is important. Some creative imagination. Then with the, uh, then with the ethical moorings and values. Yes. So ethics, what, what uh, moral concepts we are upholding. Then it uh, aims at uh, producing engaged, productive, contributing citizens, cit building an equitable, inclusive, plural society. Yes. Our SDG 4, that is Sustainable Development Goal 4, aiming at a quality education for all, equitable education for all, inclusive education for all. Because of the inclusive education, we are taken into, uh, uh, that is, children with the special needs. All children should get the opportunity to learn according to their ability or disabilities. We have to take into account. And we are living in a plural society. Yes, we are having diversity. And at the same time, we are one. So it aims at producing engaged, as people should be engaged. Why nowadays children are always behind the mobiles and this? You know that they don't have any other physical activity. So they, sh they should have some physical activity. They should engage in the society. They should engage in the society, in, in a family. Well, at least the uh, parents should have some talk, conversation with the children. And so it should be engaged. Then at the same time, productive, let them do something. Isn't it? So most of them we used to hear, the children used to say, if we, uh, if we uh, intrude something else in regarding the talking of the parents or grandparents, the, 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 they will say, why you are here? You are a small child. Why should you interfere here? But at the same time, another some way, when they are playing with the children, we will ask, why? Why you are uh, playing like a small child? Most often this happens in the adolescent stage. So we should make them engage 
productive and contributing citizens building and citizens isn't it building an equitable inclusive and a plural society then curricular curriculum aims uh, is leading to curricular goals they are statements that give directions to curriculum development and implementation curriculum goals are very important that we refer as cgs cg1 cg2 like that what about the physical development what about the social and emotional development that categorized it and everyone is categorized so later on educators may be so familiar with what is cg1 what is cg2 what is cg1.1.1 like that so that way goals are set by the national curriculum framework so we are here we are focusing on the implementation we can talk about theoretical like that but how to plan a lesson how what the educators have to focus on according to nep and and that nep as ma'am said it can be implemented that implementation is ncf so they are derived from aims and specific to stage in education is what are our aims suppose it is foundation stage what the foundation stage the child should how achieved what is it yeah. example is given here children develop effective communication skills for day to day interactions in two languages children develop effective communication two languages first language we call it as l1 and l means listening and speaking then if the child started to learn about the second language then we call it as l2 but the limitation is there that is whatever the child is listening and speaking only then so the child should have developed a uh, interaction skill effective communication skill in two languages so that is a curricular goal of a foundational stage then comes an important and a confu confusing topic this that is competencies so they are learning outcomes which are observable and assessed systematically we have to observe it what competency the child has achieved so uh, if we could observe it and at the same time we should assess it systematically that is competency definition so how the competency will we will get from the aims from the curricular goals derived from curricular goals and expected to be attained by end of the stage that is a different that is at the end of the foundation stage what the child should have achieved what competency the child should have so that's the end of the stage end of that particular stage ma'am said foundation stage or senior secondary stage or the primary stage like that according to the end of the stage suppose it is anganwadis then the balawadigas anganwadis from 3 to is 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 is balawadigas are ha mummy bada so that is so that way what they are aiming at at the end of the stage then it is articulated in curriculum framework so examples speaks fluently and hold a meaningful conversations is yes. this example given that is in the curricular uh, goals and the competencies what the competency the child should achieve in 3 to 8 years is given in the ncf example is a, a language teacher when she is teaching a particular language what the child should learn by the end of this that is listens attentively speaks short conversation people around one then another one after all the child started to initiates conversations in daily life with the peers teachers in a variety of school settings so first listens and uh, started to speak later initiates conversations in daily, daily life with peers and non group that is peers teachers and then next engages conversations based on events stories needs and ask questions is child started to engage conversation then engages in conversation wait for their turn then speak and allows others to speak then maintains the thread of conversation across multiple 
exchanges. So when we are teaching languages and when the language is connected to sentences, how a language can be uh, developed? First of all, listening, then speaking, then reading and uh, writing. So first we have to give importance to the speaking. That is why what language the child uh, listens, mother tongue, home language, local language, regional language, that is NEP emphasizes. So that language, first the child should learn. That Through that language, through that media, the child should understand the concepts. So understanding in what language that is very important. So here, next, it understands and instructions for a complex task and gives clear or instructions for the same two of these, expresses their needs. The child started to express their needs and feelings through short, meaningful sentences, then narrates daily experiences in simple sentences and uh, ask questions. So all this, through these stages, the child is, child starts to speak. Uh, and at last, the child started to ask questions. That is why, when, how, who. This means that child become more fluent. Fluency in language. So how a child can reach the fluency in language, that is through these different processes. So a teacher, when a teacher writes in the lesson plan regarding the specific goals, general goals regarding language, we know that is new words, how many new words the child will start to learn or how the child started to uh, learn about the framing of a sentence. So that we focus on this, that is the learning outcomes. At last, what they are reaching, that is competency. So here they narrate in elaborate descriptions and ask why. That is, the child started to narrate about it. That whatever, even he or it himself, the child himself or herself started to describe about the events, what is happening around. Engages with the non-fictional content, read aloud or discussed in class able to link knowledge from their own experiences. They start, the first they listen, they understand something. After they start to uh, interrelate with uh, the uh, context or nearby circumstances and started to speak about it. So from their own experience and uh, talk about it. So it uh, leads to engages in discussion about a topic. It started to discuss about a topic and raises response to questions. So this is an example given in NCF. Speaks fluently and can hold a meaningful conversation and understands oral instructions for a complex task and gives clear oral instructions for the same two others. Then, then comes learning outcomes. Competencies are attained over a period of time. Therefore, entry markers of learning achievements are needed so that teachers can observe and track learning and respond to the needs of learning continually. So the question is, what is the difference between competencies and learning outcomes? Competencies, a child will get the competency in a particular concept over a period of time it will take longer time and but what about the learning outcomes they are interim markers that is in between that is while a, a teacher is planning the lesson plan or how to what to take in the class there the content is important what is the pedagogy what different pathways that is pp is that is different pathways that teachers can use what uh, whatever assessment the teacher is going to use, all these are important. There comes, that is the learning outcomes. So learning outcomes are interim, in between, in between, interim. We had, we had an interim government, national government 946, isn't it? That interim markers are learning outcomes. So when the learning goes, two results will come. One is learning outcomes and uh, another is learning competencies. So 
learning outcomes enable teachers to plan their content pedagogy and assessment towards achieving specific competencies i told you one example i told regarding how a child started to speak fluently uh, in numerous steps uh, uh, the the child has to go through so content what should be taught what alphabet should be taught how the alphabet should be taught and uh, pedagogy what pedagogy me what method teaching learning process should go on what type of assessment should go on towards achieving specific com competencies so they curriculum developers and teachers is they should have the autonomy to define learning outcomes appropriate to their classroom content that is very important according to appropriate classroom content appropriate age is ncf or majority of the pages we can say appropriate one word is written according to the uh, 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 according to the age of the student the learning uh, process the pedagogy should be framed uh, and contextualization is also important that uh, according to the context the teacher will know only the teacher can understand what is a problem when a new policy when a new law is implemented the teacher can understand what is a problem faced by the teacher as well as the school and the students so they are the curriculum developers as well as teachers should have the autonomy they should have the freedom to change or define learning outcomes appropriate to their classroom content so the examples what the process i have written it is the page this page also you will get then any p2020 articulated aims of education curricular goals competencies learning outcomes learning outcomes are more contextual close attention and contextualization we needed the state and the relevant institutions responsible for is the state the country the nation when we say about a state that is population then a government then sovereignty and an authority government should be there land should be there so state and their relevant institutions are responsible for curriculum development and uh, syllabus development to arrive learning standards so learning standards are together what are they uh, educational aims then curricular goals then competencies learning outcomes together we call it uh, call them together we call it as learning standards anything else regarding the topics what i taught any doubt Ma'am, you can stop share. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. It was very Thanks. clearly explained. Tell you. <laughs> no, the question has come at noon. What about the difference between competency and learning outcomes? That is a majority of challenging area there. So I thought, not yeah. much time we will get to explain. No. If you move to the next, it will be prolonged. Yes, yes, true, true. Uh, yes, as I said, L one, L two, L three. There is R one, R two, R three also. R one is reading, writing, like that goes. The second language R two, we say, and third language we call it as R three. As I mentioned, L one, L two, L three. This is a thing. Is any doubt? Anything? I have to explain more about this. And uh, lesson plan is very important. Competency should be written. specific learning uh, goals should be written hello no doubt yes yes we can hear you ma'am okay any any questions regarding uh, ncf 2023 we can take up or if you can uh, give us some ideas on to where you uh, would require some uh, yes. next one where we have to focus on yes 
ഗുഡ് ഇവനിങ് ഐ ആം റിത മിസ് ഫ്രോം ഭുവനേശ്വർ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു നോ ദ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫൈവ് ത്രീ ത്രീ ഫോർ വൺ സെക്കൻഡ് പ്ലീസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ഫ്രോം ത്രീ ഇയർസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഗോസ് അപ് ടു ഗ്രേഡ് ടു ആൻഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഗ്രേഡ് ടു ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ത്രീ ഫോർ ആൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ഇസ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ഇയർസ് ദൻ സിക്സ് സെവൻ എയ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ഇയർസ് and grade 9 to 12 is the four four years so it's 5 3 3 3 and 4 okay is it going to be implement 2024 curriculum <laughs> that we cannot answer ma'am but uh, yes it is being um, going i mean the the curriculum is planned that way the foundation stage now the planning nine stage ha uh, 9 10 11 12 is one segment hmm. there is lots of ha uh, th- uh, thinking how to implement this 9 10 11 and 12 at a stage but man that i idea i want to know about that uh, concept yes ma'am actually you know earlier also at the foundation stage and the preparatory stage always uh, the preparation used to be for board exams so now if we are having changes in the secondary stage and even universities now students are having different combinations of uh, subjects you know they are having mm-hmm. science and music or mathematics yeah. and art so if they are having it that level we need mm-hmm. to introduce it at the foundation level too that's what i things so oh exactly but yes. uh, i thought of okay, is it is going to implement by coming here yeah so that is what are also asking yes yeah uh, many mm-hmm. students are asking madam can we can i take the chemistry and history uh, uh, at least whenever we are teaching uh, saying them this combination is good and this combination is good mm-hmm. so they are eagerly asking whether uh, we will get this chance or not they are asking students mm-hmm. are asking Yes. So by that time we can't reply to them and say I thought of ki okay, I'll get some answers from you but as you told ki okay, this is need to be implement from the lower level <laughs> then I don't think that uh, coming year or by short uh, years this thing is going to be implement ma'am yes that But is right is, ma'am, that should like, come you know, if if we are waiting for an organization to implement it is uh, not going to happen but at our own level mm-hmm. if we can do it at a very you know a uh, very uh, basic level if we can have yeah. those activities i think it's ultimately we have to reach nep vision so mm-hmm. it might take much time but if we don't begin yeah oh, it's, yeah, yeah. it's on yeah. the way it's on the way ma'am yeah, on the way yeah <laughs> so these things okay. will not happen Thank tonight you. but yes ma'am. thank you ma'am but sometimes child is confused hey, they likes biology but they don't like sometimes physics and uh, uh, mathematics so they are also waiting such type of uh, mind oh, wow. yeah yeah so, good evening ma'am okay. good evening i have a question good evening ma'am yeah yeah good evening question is addressed ma'am, to ma'am. Yeah. i am a little bit a little bit confused about competency and this uh, learning outcome to, to me these two words mean the same let let's say if i am developing fluency skills in children so that would be competency developing that and that that at the same time would be learning outcome also so how do we differentiate between these two terms i am a bit confused yes uh... let me answer you here according to ncf we are defining all these thing according to the national curriculum framework it is written that learning outcomes are intrinsic 
interim outcomes in uh, that means in between and competencies are long term over a period of time what the child is uh, uh, achieving suppose when we are teaching a, a lesson uh, uh, that that specifically each uh, suppose if somebody was asking what about the weekly plan we, we can have like that one week what we are uh, going to uh, get or go, uh, going to teach and what the children will get that is mm -hmm learning outcomes and at the end of teaching that lesson what we are getting or by end of that foundation stage that is competency that is a difference competency something something mastery uh, we are uh, becoming more efficient and skilled for doing that that is competency we are perfect that is a difference so interim interim uh, when we write the lesson plan is uh, we used to write just I, what, what lesson plan I have uploaded that also written here, pedagogical strategies, we may be having inclusive practices, personalized, personalized learning, interdisciplinary approaches, gender sensitivity, what are the resources we are using? There we can write learning outcome. Sometimes competency we can write, but end of the chapter, some cases yeah. end of the chapter, especially this we can show in the uh, uh, science subjects. Then social science also we can show oh, languages. Most of the languages, why why do we learn a lesson? Why do we learn a story in a language to understand new new uh, words? How that words can be used? What what, what is the grammar used in that particular new new grammar used in that? So there after ending that uh, a particular uh, sometimes it may be categorized. So that mm -hmm. after the end, what the child will learn, that is competency. And in between what we are learning, that is learning outcome, in dream. Okay? Okay, ma'am. So, so can I conclude that this uh, competency is long term and this yes. uh, no, learning let, outcome let, is somewhat short term? Uh, the, but long term and short term is having some limitations also, long term. When we say long term, sometimes it is after foundation stage maybe. Sometimes after uh, after teaching these one or two lessons, what the child may achieve this. For, for example, we are teaching, uh, suppose driving, we are going to learn driving. First we are um, um, learning the learning. Learn is license we get. There we have started to uh, uh, understand well, where is the brake, where is that. Uh, now nowadays it is a little different anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, regarding the gear changing, gear one, two, three, four, five, like that, all this we learn. And after all, we will when when stage by stage we started to learn about it. And at the end, smoothly we started to drive. That is a competency. How the yeah, yeah. What, is, what, yeah. what is the road management? That is a competency. By stage by stage, how do we learn the specifically specific? That is just just I am telling an example. That is a learning outcome. Understood? Now this this vehicle example from this vehicle example, uh, I I really ah. understood. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, because competency is something we are getting after two months or three months. You yes, will develop yes. it immediately. Yes. Immediately we yes. learn something in a step. Yes. yes. So that together we call it learning standards. Last year, no, the COVID time we have seen seen a lot of webinars. What is the learning standards of social science? What is the learning standards of mathematics? In mathematics, most of the shapes, geometry, shapes, uh, and uh, in languages, the child started science also. Child started to learn about the colors and not the color, just learning colors. That is not a competency. The child started to differentiate one color and the other color. Suppose we uh, mix the red color and white color, we will get a pink color. So like that, that, that is a competency. We understand it slowly, slowly. The child started to learn this is green, this is blue, like that. But later, later, the child started to know more about it, differentiate it. That differentiation goes to the competency. Yeah, right. Understand? In Hindi, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks uh, a lot. In Hindi, Hindi also Hindi competency has... will translate. Competency will translate in Hindi as Dakshata. Hindi is translated as Dakshata. 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 Daksh means to be skillful. Okay. Mastery. 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 Yeah, right. Right. Mastery. So mastery comes after a certain period of time. Right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.
then if you have any requests regarding next webinars maybe <laughs> what topic and here simply talking about this uh, curriculum framework is not fruitful most of them we have to focus on something uh, regarding specifically what the check teachers need that is lesson lesson plan is very important task i know so uh, and uh, at the same time how we will implement it this uh, all educators it is your responsibility uh, to implement it isn't it that is very important so all of you are uh, you have to participate uh, and the response the, the understanding of the curriculum goal and competency yes. will help us uh, plan our lessons better yes. if we know the difference between learning outcomes competencies and curriculum goals i'm positive so, positive agree with you okay i'm so happy to see my uh, school teachers are here thanks a lot <laughs> yes my memories <laughs> about my colleagues thank you thank you everyone for uh, coming for this webinar and uh, we'll meet yes, you soon you. for another webinar this is webinar yes. series one <laughs> <laughs> so it is a little little effort we have yes so thank you everyone so we we'll call it a day bye bye okay and see you thanks a lot